Thank you all for extending your stay for a few minutes before lunch. I'll try not to keep you too long from your food. Um, as I have over the past half a dozen uh, gatherings, I'm introducing a new physics object. I was hoping that I wouldn't be the only physics speaker, um, but Sir Roger talked about Escher instead of uh, his usual physics. So you'll have to tolerate at least a little bit of physics for a few minutes. So I'm going to talk about a new kind of a pendulum, which I'm calling a rolling pendulum. Mostly, you think about pendulums like something like that. And um, Martin Gardner, in fact, wrote some pieces about pendulums of various kinds. There's a funny chapter about dousing rods and doodlebugs. You can find this on Amazon as a dousing rod, not as a pendulum. <laughs> and um, he also uh, wrote about pendulums in a more serious context in, for example, the book about relativity that he wrote, uh, where in, you could talk about, for example, simple pendulums as a clock. So um, what is this thing that I'm going to introduce, introduce to you today? And I'm hoping that you'll all get to play with it um, this evening when there's play area around here. And I'll bring out a bunch of my physics toys for you to play with, including this one. So what is it? Um, it might be a little hard to see here. I'll show you some videos in a moment. But it's a disk, just a thick disk. But it has an eccentric hole cut in it so that um, unlike a coin or a wheel, if you roll this thing, as I'll show you in a moment, it doesn't just roll in a straight line, but it will oscillate. Um, just to make some remarks about what the thing is, what is the mental intention of it, um, it's sort of a work of kinetic art. It can be on any scale. So you can have a little thing like this, or you can have a large thing like this. Um, you might think of it as an executive paperweight or a fidget die device. Um, it's a companion piece to all the other ones that I introduced in this very room over the last years, the phi top, pi top, e top, i top, and the delta kelt for all of the mathematical, major mathematical constants. So if you roll the mesmoid on a hard, uh, smooth surface, the back and forth motion is mesmerizing. Uh, hence the name, mesmoid. Um, sometimes it moves in a slightly curved path. Anybody here who wants to talk about broken symmetries, we can talk about that. Um, I'll show you a short video, and I'm hoping that this will actually... Um... So here you see the mesmoid oscillating back and forth in front of the most popular physics toy of all times, Newton's Cradle. Actually, the name is a misnomer, and anybody who wants to talk about that, we can. And in fact, this thing does date back to the era of Newton. But here's a pendulum. With what to say about the actual object in terms of physics if I was going to be a really physics physicist instead of what I always introduce myself as a currently half astrophysicist? Um, you'll see up here some images of this object with the correct parameters. Um, I've written a paper about it with. Uh, Rod Cross, uh, Australian physicist. And here's a plot of how the thing oscillates. And in the small angle approximation, it forms essentially a perfect um, pendulum. And that's me inside the thing. Um, so let me thank um, a number of people who have contributed to this project. The BU Scientific Instrument Facility helped me produce various versions of this to begin with. Rod Cross and I wrote a nice physics paper about it. And um, let me show you at least one more video, if this works, um, to end this talk a little bit. And you can see it's also useful as a metronome. Thank you.